everyone this is chirag from dconcloud.com in our previous video i show that how to buy a domain hope everyone buy buy or secure their domain today we are going to learn about how to set up a custom email address for ourselves so it is something always very important whether you are a student or a business or a maybe small business or a hobbyist freelancer having own domain name or own email address makes a lot of difference so this is a free service which we are going to use i am using this from last 5 uh, 4 to 5 years i started i believe in the mid of 2015 putting one domain and uh, i am using and the mail and experience is always good so if you have not buy, buy the domain yet i will post the description of my previous video in which i showed step by step how to buy a domain so once you buy a domain let's start setting up our email account so first let's go to this uh, link zoho.com/mail i will put this link also in the description and you will see here sign up for free let's click up click sign up for free here you will see it is asking for the payment and plan but let's scroll down you will see there is something known as a free friend free plan forever in which every user will get 5 gb uh, 5 gb space which is more than enough for the mail uh, if you are not planning to do the whole productivity suite but only for the he email hosting i believe this is the best thing we can do and we can learn let's start for the sign up there are couple of steps which we need to follow and uh, in few minutes our mail will be up and running so i bought a domain and uh, which is already with me so i am going to put that address and this is learn cloud with dot me so i am looking to create account like chirag at the rate learn cloud with dot me so let's start that process i have entered the domain this is uh, this www we can't change uh, it's a fixed one just enter your domain name properly here and click on add a few steps we need to follow and then our domain and mailbox will be up and running so i am going to enter my information please make sure you enter your right information here it is very important i am going to enter my mobile number for the verification so that as this is a free account so obviously so who don't want that someone you know create a spam bots and all those thing and you know spamming their entire application infrastructure so i am going to enter my mobile number to verify make sure you will enter the right number and select some super secure password for your mail account because this will be your personal email as well as it can be your business email and for the contact email just as for the recovery just enter some email address i am entering my email address for the recovery and this is the real email address which is working so make sure you put every information right after that it will ask for some information for the verification and i will receive some text so let's see how it will ask okay here now it is started asking like what is the uh, verification code let me check my mobile and i need to enter that text here i am entering the verification test which i got and after that very clicking on verifying my mobile number and right now we don't want to set up any two factor authentication which me we, we can set up later so i'm going to skip this step right now and let's proceed further and let's see what are the next step so i have created as my admin account for this chirag at the rate learn cloud with dot me so you can create let's say admin or some other but i suggest one surely with have your own name it is always a uh, you know valuable thing i found in my career so here it is asking that how we want this domain need to be verify so let's set up this is a new feature i found but i will go with this some manual verification where it will ask to add some records and i am going to add uh, add with txt method right so this is the record which we need to copy and 
open the domains and go to the DNS setting so here I am going to enter a new record so this is the DNS setting for this domain which we are going to set up for our mail account so make sure you select the right domain because I have multiple domain in my GoDaddy account but I selected the DNS setting for this learn cloud with dot me and it asks for the text record so I am entering that information I am entering this TTL of half an hour and let's see it will take couple of seconds or maybe sometime minutes to propagate after that we will proceed for the next step and mean if let's say we will we are trying to verify it by txt it will show something whether it is propagated or not here it was able to found maybe the records got propagated the zoho system was able to you know connect and so it is asking me for the next step so i am going to create as it is mentioned that our domain is verified so i believe zoho is quickly to figure out the records so let's click on create account i'm okay with this email id and right now i don't want to add any user because in this free plan you can add up to 25 users make sure you check the again the zoho free page and what are the features you are going to get but the mailbox 5 gb space will be provided and that is awesome so this is the important guys we need to really enter these all record because the without these records our mail will not be sent and received so these are the mail exchange re records which we need to enter and i am going to enter it one by one so mx record and it is asking host host is as it is mentioned we can enter this and i am copying the first first record and priority is 10 so i am going to give this as a 10 i need to enter it three times because i am using the name server from godaddy itself in near future video i will show that how we can change this name server and use some cloud name servers like from azure dns gcp dns or aws route 53 i will show in some later video i always recommend to go with some cloud uh, you know name servers uh, i am using because they providing the 100% of sla on on that and it is very quick so and coming with the more advanced feature of dns so we will see in our near future video that how we can set up that uh, uh, set up our custom name servers provided by the cloud cloud providers so okay i think i missed something i need to select this and i need to put this priority and half an hour guys don't don't miss to add these three records because this is something even the failover also even the single record can work but important part here is the failover because once a mail is set up we don't want on a daily basis to you know interact and setting and we will lose our mails all those things so make sure we set it up properly from the first time and then we will start using our mail seamlessly so i have entered these mx record again i need to wait for a couple of seconds and minute and let's see how this will uh, this will behave and after that we can start using our mail there are you can see step by step it is given now two three x two three steps are pending we will finish it and we will see and let me check if mx record is propagated the it is showing that yes and we can again check and it is showing these are detected so which is good to go let's go to the next step so another important thing is this is for the security for our mail you know mails other otherwise maybe mails will start bouncing so i highly recommend to include this record also this is the important part so this is another txt record and let me see if it will not clash with this same dns that is the beauty where the cloud provider you know the dns services came into picture it provide lot of support or multiple uh, you know addresses can be put with the single host yeah it, it take that you know the record is saved so let's wait again for the couple of second once it will propagate it and we will see that our things are ready another this is also important thing you if you want you can configure right now but even in the later stage zoho whenever you open the zoho mail it will give you 
the information how to configure let's start even i want let's start it and let's see how we can configure it it is something sometime it's a tough to configure uh, so let me show show it again that how to set it up i am going to you know set it up from proceed from configure dkim this is the signature or you can say the encryption or something authentication here it is mentioned by default it is disable and it is showing that it is disable once it will be this green check mark or green colored it will be enabled and really it is important for the authentication or you know the mail delivery this really important because sometimes it's a very new domain and it may happen that your mail will not you know send properly or receive properly to your receiver and uh, it will bounce so better to add such kind of thing so click on add that and add selector and i suggest to go something like this admin uh, admin dot underscore this is by default will be provided so just add admin after that it will ask us to add such kind of record here which i am going to do going to do right now I'm just going to click and adding a new txt record here and my host is this and my value is this and again I'm going to select half an hour so let me save this record and again let's wait for a couple of seconds and we will click to verify this and let's see if this will work or not because I, in my previous experience I found it will take some time so as it is showing that it will take some time but we can maybe verify it later so meanwhile let's complete our setup and email migration i don't have to i don't have any existing email address or anything which i need to migrate to this so i'm going to skip this mobile uh, mobile option yes you can download i highly recommend you just download the zoho mail because in this free tier or free plan it will not work with your existing gmail client or your outlook client because previously it was three four years ago i used it but you know as the free service there are some restriction but this application is also good just install this zoho mail app and you can log in with your new account which we created uh, so uh, also you are going to create for your own so let's go to this zoho workplace and it is showing a couple of you know introductory thing i am not going to work so here you can see I am with my new email address and I am going to try to set it uh, send a one mail if I want some signature I want let's say it's good with uh, let me see if this works and let's start to access our Zoho mail so here you can see guys this is the our inbox and we can access it by using mail.zoho.com entering our username password which will create while setting up this I am going to send a one mail to even one of my account and let's see whether this will work or not and the response will work or not work or not so I'm just sending such small text and let me wait and see whether I will receive the mail and uh, I will respond and let's see whether I will then receive the response from that email so let's wait a couple of second guys meanwhile I will check my another email box and I will respond it so I received the email and I am typing a response thank you so much thank you so much it's cool so i just sending a mail from my another account to this account let's wait meanwhile we will see our response here let me see if this works here you can see i have responded and i got a respond from my another email address to here and it means we are able to send and receive our email addresses so that's all for today's video guy you can subscribe to my channel and here you can see you can verify and that configure again even maybe i was not able to it is showing okay now it is showing the verify so you can you can play with this and you can find all those 
small small things here and uh, you can start sending a mail to your business to your friends because you have no custom email id and that is a very you know handy dandy and easy way to set up your email id free of cost domain cost very small amount so i highly always recommend to have own domain name to play with that so in this small tutorial i believe you also got the learning how the mail services work because mx record come into picture and uh, if you want to learn more about this spf at dkim you can explore and it will be again a uh, one domain can give you the endless learning so again guys share this video in your circle so that everyone can create his or her custom domain and feel free to subscribe to my channel see you in the next tutorial bye